it is a Tuesday today here in Sweden and it's uh, fall outside and uh, it it's uh, like a sad day in the weather type and it's um, October 18 2022 and I have just uh, got my retirement. So I have paid my rent today. That's the first thing I do. So I still have a home. You know I have been homeless in the United States. And was homeless in Sweden for 11 years. And uh, so it's very important to to pay the rent as soon as I can. Uh, so I did it. The first uh, first thing I do when I got the retirement. And I don't have much retirement because I have been working under heaven and uh, uh, for God, uh, in God's will. and. So I have not working for 22 years. Uh, 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 22 years for a man. Uh, I have been working 22 years for God. Uh, and it have been very much work in these 22 years. I have not sitting home and and only want God to do things for me. I have the the meaning to be under God is to do God's will and not our own will. So I have done that and uh, it has uh, it's not about uh, money and it's not about retirement. Uh, so uh, for heaven, they, it seems like they don't think like that. You know that you that listen that you you know that you are. A good person and you do right things but still you have to struggle for to have some money to pay your bills those things and uh, it's not about that you are a bad person it's only that it's it's not in God's will this with money to do of course, he, like for me, he give me money when he want me to do something for him. Um, but uh, if he don't want me to do something uh, special for him, then I struggle with money because uh, the retirement is only for the rent for my home and and then electricity bills and then I have I have uh, internet also to pay um, but that is my three big uh, big uh, bills that uh, that comes every month but uh, I have just, but I have no overflow of money. I have just to, so I can pay my bills and then have uh, so I can eat food. But I don't drink any alcoholic and I, I don't smoke and I don't go out on restaurants. Um, so the money I get, it's it works okay for me. It's no overflow, so that's why I 
I needed to ask you for supporting me to could take the flight to Jerusalem when God told me I should go there. And they, uh, in this, this time, before when I was to Israel, uh, God gave me the money. There was no people that did. The third time I was in, Euro- in Jerusalem, it was a mental sick person that say that uh, he should give me money and then I could do work for him in in Israel. So that was different because it was not that he gave me money. I have to do things for him in in Israel. But this time, the fourth time is it about to see who can help me to that support me like uh, it's not about uh, what can you do for me God what can you do for me it's not about that it's about what can I I do for you God we should ask that we should not ask God to do things for us we should ask him in the first place what can I do for you to make things in your will and and make you be happy and proud of me that I do your will and uh, uh, that I I live my life in your will and not in what the world want me to do that I live my life for you, God, in your will. That is the first to say to God. It's not about what can you do for me, God. You're crying and you have sorrow when you you go to God and you say, what is this, God? Why don't you help me? But you have not asked God in the first place to say that I I give myself to you God and do your will God that's my first priority I'm the second priority you are always first in my life and that's what you can say in in some different way you don't need to copy me God doesn't want us to copy each other. He wants to have a, a relationship with you and not with a group of people. <clears throat> That's why he don't like that you repeat what exactly what I say. You, you have your heart. You have your mind. So you don't don't need to copy me but I tell you how to do it and um, it's not about to to immediately say to God what can you do for me it's about first to say that I do your will God I try to do my I try to do my life like you want me to have my life. And uh, it's try, because God knows that we fail. And we fail often and we fail. And But if we only give the heart to God and say that we try to live like you want us to live, I give my my life to you, God, and uh, and uh, to live in your will, God. My life should be in your will, God. And if I don't know about uh, your will, God, uh, please.
please let me know how to do it. Teach me, O oh God, so I can be this person that you want me to be. Because uh, today, uh, this uh, tribulation years, 20, 20 to, uh, to 20, I think it's be 25, like that, 6, 7. <laughs> It's seven years tribulation, and the, the tribulation started two thousand nineteen. So two thousand twenty six. Teach me how to live my life in your will, God. It's uh, I. Uh, I felt like I should uh, pray to God today but then I didn't remember it but now I do it anyway I pray to God in that way in the pattern that uh, you should talk to God in that way that first priority is to do God's will and and the second is to do what you need to do for your life and uh, to in the first uh, place in your life that you need to be in balance for your life your personal life you have to be in balance before you can reach out to other people and you, and the, you, this second I have taught this before for a long time ago in this podcast that the first step is always you to make you be as perfect as God wants you to be and, and, and perfect, it doesn't mean that you do everything right. It's not about that. It's that when you feel like you have failed, you have failed God, then you ask for forgiveness, the, what you have done, and try to not do it again. You should not only go to the church and say, forgive me. And then, is it okay? Uh, you must also uh, try and work on it to not do it again. That's what it is. Not do it again. And uh, the, uh, that is to be in balance on your own first. Between God and you. You have that balance, a relationship with God, that you feel you strong, that God and you are one. And then you can start with your family. And when the family is okay, there is so, there is so many preachers that I have met that have children that is not good. And you have to try, try to make them okay. Yeah, I know I have failed with my kids because I didn't know God when I chose the fathers of my children. And I was too weak. I didn't understood how to be strong in this. So I don't say that... Uh, you need to do it, but you at least try to do it right with your family. It's it can be the the devil have 
placed in his children into your family. So that that's okay if you give them up those that the devil have placed in your family. The, you maybe not need can can help them. You can't do it, and you then you have to let them go. Uh, it's not about uh, what's in this world, uh, what we have got what is added onto our life that we should hold it hold it together as for uh, to work out ourself to make us sick to be may take a suicide because you couldn't you couldn't help your family it's not about that. It's about to try. And then, like me, I have failed. But I have failed because I had not that kind of power. I don't have the power to fight against the devil. I don't have that. I know that today, that... Is no idea to fight against the devil if he is or she is very strong. Then you have to let it go and give it to God and give it to heaven to solve the problems. And and you, uh, they maybe can't do it because it's so very strong that negative energy so they can't do it but at least you let it go it's in not in your closest swear it's not uh, around you anymore so you can rest be in peace and and i have told you how to make this Sveric, be calm and out from frustration, anger, hate, and this that disturb you. You can have your protected Sveric by tell them in heaven and tell God that you need to have your own private Sveric and not be disturbed of those evil power that is around you it's i don't uh, claim any miracles to be done because i have tried on my own and i have failed as a human but uh, the heaven can take it for us and and at least uh, let them stay away from us. You should never ever uh, fight against evil spirits and evil dem- dynamic uh, uh, evil forces. It, let it let the heaven take it. It's a spirit thing. And we are not spirit. So we need to let it go to the spirit world. And they take care of it. So that... Um, so... Uh, I'm ending here that that prayer I had. Uh, to start with. And... Uh, I tell you what's going on in the world now. Today we got um, get a message from our new uh, premier minister. He told us uh, what government we should have here in Sweden after election, and. Uh, 
many things that he was telling me. I listened at it. And many things he say was very nice that I agree to. But I know from history. We learn from the history how how great it was when Hitler started when he was in the top was the leader for Germany. In the beginning it was very, very good things he did. And then it come these bad things. And uh, the the bad things that I'm worried about that is they don't see it coming, the government, those that staying for what should be good, that they don't see it coming. And uh, uh, like they are fall to sleep, like the, the disciple did when Jesus said to stay awake. And they didn't stay awake, so... He, he was killed, Jesus, and uh, because uh, they didn't see it coming, the disciple, and and they were thinking about themselves that they wanted to sleep. There was nothing to to see more than they saw that Jesus was talking to God, and uh, that he. It looked like it was blood coming out instead of sweat. It come blood. They saw that, but then they fall to sleep. And so I'm worried that that what's uh, those people that have say it's okay with the Nazi in the government that let them have some power in it but not let them be too much power in the government but suddenly they they relax and they fall to sleep and then it's there they when they have started to let them come in into the government then everything can happen it's they have open doors now but today, when our premier minister, that was not, that is not a Nazi man, that what he was telling us was uh, sounds great, but I know the history about it. So um, I'm still uh, try to find a place to to live. And uh, if you know somewhere where I can live, where I can uh, continue to talk about heaven and be connected to heaven and tell you what they are saying in heaven and, and you want me to be there, then you should help me to could move to your place. Because I don't have anything here that stopped me. I can move all over the world, but but I can't move to Africa, for example. It must be a clean environment uh, because my body is sick. But uh, just now, am I not so sick? It's have changed uh, when when this with Jerusalem start. So it looked like like my illness that I got when I started to walk under God and doing God's will, that it seems it's start to stop now. So uh, when my walk is over, when I touch the Golden Gate, in Jerusalem, then I'm free from illness I have in my body now. And my diabetes, I check it out now every morning and it's low. 
so it seems working my body now in this case and I hope the pancreas will also stop stop to uh, be ill that I, I be okay in my body now we will see time will tell when I touch the Gola gate I expected but I can't take it for granted but I expect it for me to be healed from everything that have going on in 22 years in my body and um, I can more um, move to a place where I can work for God in that place not uh, traveling around living in that place and talk what God God is telling me what heaven is telling me and be uh, relax in that area I can move today I, I bring with me my low retirement uh, uh, I can take it with me all over the world so I have some at least to could buy fo food and clothes, these things, but to have a place to live in uh, that I don't have the money for. I don't have money for a home, but I have for food to eat and clothes and these things. And uh, so I need someone that have a place for me where I can live and uh, and teach people about heaven and what they are saying and let uh, that area uh, be a place for heaven to come down you know you it is very important it's not a uh, a fairy tale it's not a saga it's real that uh, heaven will come down if you give them a place to stay uh, me to stay here and I have like I say in the, I say I heard from heaven from heaven that is in my room in my home that they say that they will come with me wherever I place myself. And uh, I need to go out from Sweden and uh, come to another place, another country, at least another country. I will look around and and if I am staying in European Union, then I have the same thing as those other that live in that country. I have the same as Sweden is, is together with European Union. So it's, Sweden is a country in the European Union. Union. So I can live in in the country that is member of European Union and I have the same thing but but the hardest is uh, to get a home as I don't have the money to pay rent in another country that I don't get with me so um, I have a cut my staying in Israel because I, I have seen now that I don't get any help in Israel and no one I have asked if someone if people want to meet me in Jerusalem and, and uh, to those that is living in Israel but no one want to meet me so that is not the place for me Israel uh, it's only that I need to go there to end my 
my journey, my work that I have done under God and uh, got all the knowledge that I I have seen. Uh, it's, I didn't know anything for 22 years ago. And I have been taught from heaven. In, uh, it took a, took a long time. For me, I think it's two, 22 years, a long time. But they have teach me the whole way, step by step. And now it feel like I have ended the school. It's not that I'm not going to work under God. But it's I have been full educated now from heaven. And now I need a place where I can relax and live in and then to help other people to understand what what the, what heaven want to tell you. That's what I need if you have a place for me to stay. That is a place where heaven can gathering so there is no evil around and in that place mm -hmm. because heaven heaven need to have this special place for them to live in the, um, I am telling you these things and uh, and uh, it, it can be other things that I have forgot to to tell you. But um, you that that is uh, sending me supporting money <clears throat> donations for the work to for God and for the whole planet i i work for the whole planet to heal it and i thank you for doing this and sending me some of the money i need very badly because i told you about my bad retirement i can't move away because i don't have the money for to rent a place so little retirement do I get and I don't smoke I don't drink I don't go out and eat and and still I have hard with a retirement to last a whole month <clears throat> so thank you for doing this and thank you for listen all of you that listen and God bless you.